What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Sinovas Energy with the ticker symbol CVE. This was a viewer's request and thank you for the donation. I will first go over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So let's go ahead and start the chart review by looking at the daily chart for CVE. Uh, what clearly stands out to me is that prices are basically just going sideways. This looks like a very large uh, ranging pattern. So it looks like the range, range started after this downtrend and it started back here in June of last year. So basically prices have been pretty much flat for about a year. Uh, so let's go and draw a range to represent that sideways trading. So it looks like most of the touches or the support is right around the low $15 level. That's what it looks like we get the big bounces from. And it looks like we get these large rejections from right around the $20 level. So this looks like the range pattern that prices are respecting. However, in this range, if you look uh, closer, you can see that the, the highs are getting lower and lower. So there was a high created right over here. The next high was even lower. The next high was even lower. And the, the recent high back here in early June is even lower. So there's, there's a descending um, uh, pattern going on right here. And if I connect the swings, from the peak all the way through the swings, you can see that all these touches are being respected by this trend line. If I drag it down, it becomes a channel. We got two touches on the bottom, one, two, three, four, five touches on the top. So it looks like there's a bearish imbalance going on here, meaning there's probably more aggressive sellers in the market than buyers. Uh, so it looks like prices do want to drop lower, at least in the short term. Uh, so those are the two major patterns. We have this downward uh, descent in price, but also um, a kind of a sideways angle too. So we have two patterns in play. Uh, where does it look like prices are headed? Well, we're gonna have to use measure move targets. So you can see there was one large drop right over here. After the large drop, there was two legs up. So there was one leg right here, two legs up, which marks the center of the pattern for another drop. Prices could not drop any lower. It stopped at the 1460 level. It cannot reach the measurable target. If the market fails to do something, it's going to probably do the opposite. And that's exactly what happened. There was two large legs up from there because this uh, 1520 level was a very strong support. So let me go show you guys that right now. So those two large legs up, one, two. Now, after the two legs are met, you can see we found resistance. We sold off. So basically, this entire drop can be just one leg. Because now since the market reset with the two legs with a large drop, another leg can form over there. So we can go and move this large drop to right about here. So this is one large drop right here. And the second large drop started from right about here. So that's what um, the, the shorts are targeting now, this 1180 level. However, at the same time, the bulls are also in the market because you have two market participants. You have a buyer and a seller. So the bulls looked at this uh, entire up move as one leg and they dragged it over right over here. So you see the, um, the bulls failed to reach the target because they tried multiple times right over here and prices failed and it sold off sharply. So basically it looks like, I guess before, it's the, the bears are the stronger uh, participant in the market currently. Uh, looks like, you know, we're about to be seeing the lows of the range retested again, um, right at that low $15 level, the 1525 level. Obviously we just got rejected from the trend line. And also it was two legs up too. So those one leg up right here, two legs up. So let me go and zoom in so you can see that more clear. Market moves in twos, you'll see it numerous times. So those one leg up here, two legs up, hit the trend line, strong rejection. We're staying below the EMA. So this looks like it's targeting the low $15 level and potentially we might even get a break out of it uh, to reach the lower price levels. So right now it's looking bearish in the short term. However, I'll show you guys on the weekly chart why uh, prices could continue to trend up higher um, out of this ranging pattern. Let me show you guys one more target. So this is also another measure move target which coincides with the larger one. So this is one leg, this is the second leg, right around the same level. Uh, the high 11s, low 12s is the target uh, currently for CVE. Again, it doesn't have to be reached, uh, but this is the target that the shorts are uh, expecting uh, to be hit uh, because it looks like they're the stronger participant currently in the market. So let's take a look at the weekly chart now. So here's the weekly chart for CVE. And overall, you still see that this is all just a correction because the market had a nice rally from the 2020 lows all the way up to May 2022. So this is one huge push up. 
So this is just a correction uh, because most of this um, gain has not been taken back. So we can still be expecting um, another push up higher from here uh, in the future. But in the short term, it does look slightly bearish because price made this huge run up. Let me show you guys that right now. After this huge run up, uh, the price lost steam. And then, you know, obviously it collapsed and went inside this consolidating pattern. So it's finding a lot of support at the low $15 level and strong resistance at the $20 level. Um, so it looks like, you know, like before, we're still below the EMA. Um, so prices are trending down, at least making lower highs. Uh, so we're coming to a compression point because you can see that we're making lower highs but equal lows. Um, so it looks like we're probably going to see a breakout um, in, the uh, in the short term most likely towards the downside because that is the uh, looks like the dominant pattern currently in play uh, however after the breakout you know uh, what are we going to do usually that breakout we, there's a there's a good chance we're not going to reverse all the way like this there's a good chance maybe we break out and we hit this target and then we finally start reversing towards the upside or what can happen is we do the breakout just a small one maybe not reach the target which would be even more bullish and then prices come back in the range and start trending out of it. So that would be the even more bullish situation. We'll see what's going to occur. But as of right now, that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting downward pressure, low 15s at least. Um, and then it, the, this will probably even get a breakout because how many times are we going to bounce from this level? Eventually something's going to give. Uh, and the target is still outside of the range. However, like I said before, the pattern, the dominating pattern overall is still up. You can see that you know this is still a uptrend territory because territory excuse me uh, because if you do a Fibonacci retracement from the lows to the highs we're still within the 50% uh, amount so price hasn't even retraced 50%. This is a 382 retracement so uh, only about 40%. So still uh, most of the gains are still intact and the market could be just resting for another leg up. So let's just say this is the bottom right here at the 1443 level then the target would be right to about the um, 37 level. Let's say prices do complete the two legs down and that acts as support, then it would be targeting the 35. So either way, uh, you know, in the long term, this looks like it will probably continue to go up higher, but in the short term, it's looking weak and we'll see how it plays out. So that's all I have for a CVE on the daily and weekly charts. This is VTrades and thank you for your time. The VTrades technical analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now.